16, a quadrilateral is being drawn for you. Write down the name of this shape. This is a trapezium. There's actually one of these given in the formula booklet for you, a trapezium. And a trapezium has one pair of sides that are parallel, the other two sides aren't parallel. On the grid below, show how the quadrilateral tessellates. You should draw at least six shapes. That means uh, six of those quadrilaterals will fit together and their points will fit together around here where there's no gap between them. So the easiest thing to do is I'm going to actually just draw this um, shape out for us. And if, if you're in the exam, you could do this with a bit of tracing paper to get the idea if it makes it easier for you. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to twist that around there. Fit it there. Okay, then I'm going to take another one of those. And I'm going to twist it around so it's parallel to here. And I'm going to stick that in there. Twist it a little bit too much there and it fits like that. Then I'm going to take that. Sorry. This one here. And I've twisted it that far. And now I'm going to twist it as follows, so it fits like that. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to twist it that far, that far, and then that far, so it fits in here. And the last one here, this will show you it tessellates. I'm going to twist that round to the full twist as follows, and I'm just going to show that that fits perfectly in there with no gaps and that's a tessellation and we're done.